happy uh, little nut. This is one that was cracked. Blowing 15 to 20, 25, really gusting. Oh, oh big boil. Oh, that's big team. That's a big one. Well, the journey begins. It is 10 to 3 in the morning. Um, I haven't had much sleep. It's pouring down rain. It's not a good start. But absolutely pouring down rain. That doesn't matter. I'm not going to be in their car anyway, but still, it's going to be driving in the rain, so I have to be careful. It's um, supposed to be big, big wet coming across the southeast Queensland right now. So, um, just wait for a little bit of breakfast and a make coffee and we get on the road. I wake up before the alarm, I've only got probably 20 minutes to go before the alarm goes off, but I couldn't get back to sleep. I'm too excited. This is going to be one hell of a journey. And I can't wait. So sit back. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy the ride. Well, this is a good start. There is monsoonal rain right now. I just opened up the garage and it is pouring down rain. Um, I just checked the radar. Next few hours to drive and it's going to be absolutely pouring down rain. Hopefully this is not a sign for things to come. Hopefully it's just that I've worked to go, but... Uh, it is pouring down. It's a bit cool too. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh, oh well. It's got to be done. We're going to <laughs> run out the rain here. Well, uh, let's go. Oh. That was a fun start. <laughs> I just realized I haven't strapped my boat down and I am absolutely soaking wet. Just check and see if the garage is, uh, just check and see if the garage is down. Set the seatbelt on. And we are off and running after all that. I am soaking, soaking wet. Oh, I haven't even left my driveway hardly. Let's go! <laughs> well and truly underway now. I've come inland, uh, decided not to go the coast route. Um, sorry about the lighting there. We're heading up the uh, western, I suppose I'd call it western route, the inland route, which is um, up through Claremont, Charters Towers, um, end up shooting out of Mareeba and then keep moving up the Cape from there. It's, a, it's going to be a long haul. Uh, especially when I'm in the car by myself. I've got, uh, I, don't, I don't really listen to much music or anything like that. The lighting's terrible there, sorry. Your side on shot of my massive nose. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get in front. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're underway anyway. No troubles yet, touch wood. I haven't checked the boat trailer yet. I'm uh, about half a tank fuel. The Land Cruiser, while well, it's a great car and I love it, uh, it chews a little bit of juice to the old V8, especially when you're towing. So I'll have to pull up in about probably three or four hundred kilometres and uh, give it a good top up of fuel. Then I'm going to keep driving along this road. It's going to be a long, arduous track. But the reason why I do the inland route now is because the coast road's full of roadworks. It's a Saturday and a school holidays. There's going to be a whole heap of people on the road. This way may add sort of maybe, I don't know, maybe 100 k's onto the whole trip altogether, but it's a much better drive. It's nice big long straights later on down the track. There's a whole heap of room between, um, between the towns and that sort of stuff. So it's, 
you know, just a much nicer drive and yeah, just uh, allows me to chill out, zone out basically, put it on cruise control and um, yeah, get through all these big long straights. If I am a little tired, it's, uh, it's always hard to drive when that sun first comes up, but once I'm into the drive I'll be fine. Later on this afternoon, I'll um, yeah, no doubt bunk it down. It'll be more like I'll try and get to seven or eight o'clock tonight, and then keep moving on. But already, I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep the excitement in because I don't want to get too excited just yet. But I am super pumped inside, like just really pumped up inside. Um, nervous, I'm so nervous. They're fearful of what's ahead. All those sort of emotions are sort of going through me at the moment. Um, and I haven't really thought too much about the fishing yet. It's just more about the setting up camp and how I do it, and whether there's going to be storms and all that sort of stuff goes from a set ahead. But I did hire a sat phone, which, uh, yeah, it'll probably just take that edge off just a little bit. I've got a couple of EPIRBs, so. I think I've pretty much done as much as I can safety wise, but um, yeah, just keep marching on the coastline. done uh, five hours first fuel stop this is getting a bit low I uh, left with um, three quarters of a tank so I would like to go a little bit further but I've got to fill, fill up sooner or later the light came on just before I'm gonna put a bit of fuel in the uh, in the fuel tanks in the back they were blowing around everywhere one actually blew out uh, blew out of the uh, boat so I had to pull up and get it on the side of the road but I'm going to top this up as far as I can get it and then uh, we're off to Claremont next. So, where am I going? Who knows? It uh, hasn't been too bad a drive and I like these country drives. I'd rather do this than the coast road and um, yeah, it's been fun so far. Alright, I've been going for a few hours now. That's uh, I'm not far from Mackay. I've had to actually turn off the way I was going. So I've had a bit of an issue. I've found a, a crack in one of the... Oh man, that doesn't feel real good. Um, one of my mates is going to meet me here. I've found a crack in one of the nuts on my... Uh, on my motor. Now I'm trying to find where that crack is now. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but I thought I'd get it looked at anyway. And I also want to get some hydraulic fluid, which I forgot to get. Um, and fill some hydraulic fluid up. So I've got a mate meet me out here very soon. And he's going to uh, fix it up for me. Well, I pulled up and my old mate Crossy's turned up. Look at him. Bush mechanic. He's done a little zip tie on me uh, little nut. This is the one that was cracked. Just right in there. I reckon say, plastic's all good. I was worried for nothing. But thanks for the job, mate. Right, How much driving did you do for this? How? Yeah. Nah. 40k. 40k. Uh -huh. 40k to put a zip tie on for me. Fuck it hell. All right, we're going to keep going here. It's a little stoppage, but I am rooted. 11 hours straight. Keep rolling. Well, I've made it to Bowen. That's uh, now 14 hours, a bit over 14 hours punch that I've uh, done. Just filling up the tank again. And I stop in and see me good old mate Mickey Ty along the way. He's got um, he's got a jerry can for me, which I'm going to check actually. Uh, as you can see, it's always blowing in Bowen, they say, and it's no different today. Uh, crap going everywhere in the boat. 
we're going to get back underway in a minute. I'm going to check a few things over the boat, make sure that's all good, hunk dory. But yeah, we'll keep on the road. She's been a long haul today and it's howling here, so I won't keep this going too long. Well, another stop in Townsville. It's taken fucking how many hours have been going? <laughs> 15 hours old, mate. Mickey Ty's done me a favour. He's got two fuel tanks right here, jerry cans ready to go. Because mine went flying out the fucking back and I lost the lid on the thing. So, fucking anyway. Lovely. So, we're going to stop here for five seconds. I'm probably going to go to the toilet and uh, yeah, do men's business there. And then we're going to get back on the road. I am just about beat. Another two and a half hours to go and then the swag's getting rolled out and I am done and dusted. Well, that's it. I've got the swag up here. And heads down. What an adventure so far. That was one hell of a drive. Well, it's time to shut the eyes. I've got some driving to do tomorrow. Catch us in the morning. <laughs> All right, alarm's going off. Let's rock and roll. Today's the day. Today is the day. Get back on the road, a big drive out of me, and then I'm going to this island. I can't wait, I've been waiting so long for this. Let's go. Well and truly on the road now. Oh, just wonder what was going on then. Yeah, I've been going for about an hour now. Oh, a bit over an hour actually. It's uh, hour and a half. Oh, beautiful scenery. Just coming up the range. I'm in far north Queensland now. Up around the Cairns area. and just come up over the range and never ceases to amaze me. It doesn't matter how many times I do it. Just how beautiful this place is when you come up over the range. It's just all rainforest and... Um, yeah, just the scenery is unbelievable. You wind, on, you wind down your window in the slower places, you can hear the uh, bellbirds chirping or uh, humming away. <laughs> yeah, just a magnificent place, little waterfalls and stuff. Uh, I've gone through a little bit of uh, fog, which is interesting. Uh, means the, the wind's down a bit, but that's the inshore, so I'm not too phased. I think this afternoon is going to be. A little bit blowy for the trip across to the island. It's about a 40k punch, which I'm gonna to have to take it easy. I'm gonna be fully loaded up with uh, almost 300 litres of fuel and all my camp gear and that sort of stuff. So there's a, gonna be a fair bit on board. So I just need to be careful what's going on there and um, get across to the island nice and safe. But otherwise, everything else is going all right, I think. It'll be interesting to see how the boat goes once I put it in the water. Fingers crossed. Um, we'll just keep driving along here. Oh, I am steaming. I've got the fuel, 300 litres on board. I went and got groceries, went and picked up a couple of uh, odds and ends as extras, and now I'm off and running. The last part of the journey, you've got a big drive ahead of me. Big drive ahead of me for the rest uh, rest of this trip. I'm about to head on to Dirt Road. I just can't explain how friendly the people are up in North Queensland. You guys that are watching, um, a couple of kids pulled me up in the street, said good day, um, and they're just really down to earth kids. They've been fishing in the morning, 
just had a big fella at the shopping centre pull me up, say good day. Said he'd been watching the YouTube channel. So, guys, if you're up in far north Queensland and um, and if you are the couple of guys that have said good day, uh, thanks very much. You just made my day. Um, and uh, everyone else that I've seen along the way, been super friendly. But we're going to be about to get on the road. So we got, like I said, we've got some driving to do now. Get on the road. I've just got to pick up some ice and. Um, that's the last of civilization that I'll see for the uh, next for the next week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Turn the phone off. Get off the grid. You've got to do it, guys. If you aren't doing it, you need to do it. Get off the grid for a while. Just get the mind right, and uh, yeah, get yourself back to square one and start again. But anyway, let's get on the road. Let's go. So I'm going to have to do a bit of forward driving to launch this boat. Got the diff lockers in. Just driving along this sand track. My alarm's going off because I should have my seatbelt on, but hopefully I can beat that. Well, I've decided to stay the night. Um, I've already launched the boat. It's in the water. It's oh, so heavy. But yeah, I'm uh, actually going to yeah, just camp the night here and then I'm going to head out in the morning really early. So, yeah, it was blowing 15 to 20, 25, really gusting. And it was just too heavy to get out there uh, in that sort of mess. So I've decided to just camp it out the night. Tomorrow's supposed to be an absolute glass out. I'll lose a, lose a bit of time, but it'll give me time to really get things organised in the boat and just really uh, cruise across and really take it all in. It's, it's all part of the adventure and I'm... I've got a good weather window of uh, four days coming up. I'll be able to fish tomorrow a fair bit. So, yeah, all in all, I'm uh, really happy with today. I uh, got up here nice and early. Got up here in the time I was expecting to get up here in. Um, appears to be no dramas at this stage. And um, yeah, we'll go and zip out to the island tomorrow. I'm just trying to keep the excitement in because I'm super pumped. I'm going to bunker down for the night and I'll see you in the morning getting up bright and early. I've just woken up and it's uh, 3.40am. I'm going to get up, have a good night's sleep, for a good night's sleep. It's a bit hot though, this way. There's no wind, there's zero wind dropped out here. Probably a good idea. I slept here tonight instead of going across the aisle and uh, 25 knots. But uh, I can't open the eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pack up this swag and have a coffee, get going, get on the water, try and get over this aisle nice and early, make camp, and then get out fishing. coastline 
And I'm going to get to this island, unload all the gear, and then I'm going to go fishing. But you can't, I just can't explain to you how good I'm feeling right now. Just the relief that I'm actually doing it. I'm still so nervous, but just happy to be on the way on the water. And I'm, yeah, I'm just excited to see what happens over the next few days. It's sort of, sort of liberating just to, yeah, be on your own. You're sort of <coughs> facing a few fears. You're out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There's no one around and, yeah, it's just uh, a little bit scary. It's intimidating, definitely intimidating. The sun's coming up. Beautiful day, glass out. The next few days are supposed to be really good. It's going to be hot, but it's going to be good. So anyway, sit back and enjoy the ride. This is insane. I've finally done it. I'm only not even a kilometre to go. The heart's racing. I'm so pumped. Oh man, the emotions. It's been a long journey to get here. Yeah. This is very, very, very cool. See the island in front here. Absolutely perfect conditions, a good call to wait till today. I'm glad I did. I've lost a few hours, but this is very, very cool. Oh, I'm to take my hand off the steering wheel because I'll find myself. Oh man, head spinning and everything. I can't wait to get to shore. I unload all this gear, it's gonna be cool. Here she is. How <laughs> good tick. Oh man, so, so, so excited. Well, it's job done. Finally got here. Just what an amazing place. Unbelievable. Absolute glass out. Oh man, just can't explain to you how I'm feeling right now. I'm going to unload this gear, get it up the beach. I'm going to decide to uh, set up camp a little bit later on, I think, uh, when I get back. But for now, it's just unload, put as near as tidy as possible up in the spot I want to camp at. And then from there, I'm going to head out to the outer reef, maybe do a bit of jigging to start with. And so that, as that tide drops later on this afternoon, I'm going to get up on the flats and go and fish the flats, some of my favourite fishing. Maybe finish with some jigging for some doggies or whatever. And then come back here really late afternoon, set up camp and cook a feed. But for now, I need to go and unload. This is absolutely amazing. Look at the place. Destination paradise. We're here. How good. Yes. Well, that, uh, that took a while. Uh, finally got uh, camp all set up, or not set up, but um, packed, ready to go. So, got all my fuel there. I'll just loosen a few of these off so they can breathe. Um, uh, oh yeah, they're cooking. They'll be cooking later on today. Anyway, I'll do that soon. That's, um, yeah, I'm just gonna set up my tarp across this, these two trees here. Just gonna tie off a rope and another rope over here and just camp under here. I'll just clear the bottom a bit. I've got a ground sheet there that I'll put down. I'll put my little tent that I've got. It's gonna be boiling hot. Last time when I was uh, up at the Cape in January, I've never felt heat like it, especially at night. Camping, I've uh, got me asking in the best shade possible. Just dug a little hole, so. Yeah, just gonna fill that around it. And uh, that'll keep that ice for a while, hopefully. For the next couple of days anyway. At least I'll have a cold beer when I come in this afternoon. And that meat will be nice and cold. Yeah, but 
this will be camp. I'm going to go fishing first, so I can't help myself. I'll uh, come back in later on the salve. I'm just pouring with sweat already. I need to get some water into me, actually. Anyway, let's uh, scrap camp for now. Let's get out in the boat and do some fishing. I'm thinking I'm going to go and do some jigging straight up. Micro jigging, that is. So here we go. I'm blown. That was tough work. All those fuel tanks. It is hard work. I chewed about 25 litres to do 40 k's, which I was expecting about that, 25 to 30 litres. I'll be a lot lighter coming home, so that's if I get home. Anyway, let's get into it. Finally, get some fishing done. I couldn't resist. The water looks so good. I'm not going to be in here for long because uh, oh, it's that type of season for uh, box jellies and whatever those other jellyfish are that can kill you. Plus, there's supposed to be a crocodile, re a resident crocodile, not too far from here. So I'm just going to take a little dip, but the good thing about being on the island yourself is that you can just come and do it naked and don't have to worry about anything, you know? <laughs> I'm jumping in, freshening up. I hate swimming anyway, but I won't be in the corner. Oh! How yeah, fucking good. The son bought me this Christmas time, or maybe for your birthday. It's just a little rag, you put it around yourself. And somehow it cools down, it's beautiful. Oh, but that's magic. Phew! How good is this? All of life at its best. Destination paradise. How good. Well, we're about to go. It's game time. Before we go, I am that dehydrated from the last couple of days. Been busy. So I'm just getting some of our. Um, this is no gimmick, dead set. This thing charges you up. It's not just a hydrolyte or anything like that. It's got a few other extra ingredients, which we'll see on the label. But this hydrate that we've come up with, it'll keep you sparked up, but also keep you hydrated as well. So it just gives a nice little flavor too if you need to knock back a heap of water at once. That'll do it. And that's going to fuel the system for the next few hours because it's game time, baby. It's time to go and do some jigging and some popping and whatever else I can find. So I said to myself I wouldn't do this, but on the way out, I spotted a bait school. There's a nice big bommy here, comes right up to six meters, and there's a bait school here that's going, oh, it's just nervous on top of the water. And I thought, oh, why not? Let's go and have a go at these GTs. Let's see if we can get one. I really want to get out the outer reef and do some jigging, but let's have a crack at this fish. Let's have a go. All right, this is one. Oh, big foil! Oh, that's a big G! That's a big one! That's a good one! Oh, man! Oh, oh that's a good G! Oh. 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 Woo! Here's a start! Oh, yeah! Went sideways. He looked like he was big, but I don't know if he's that big. She's got some shallow ground around here. It's not. It's not good. Oh. 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 Woo. He's only a little fella, but he looked big. Oh, we've got a trigger, big trigger fit, following in behind. Oh yeah. That's a little warm up, but there's a big trigger fish following in behind. That's pretty cool. Wow, that'll do something for the old fly fish, eh? Look at how clear that water is. Oh, yeah. There's a little warm up. It's not that big, but it's a start. That's a lip hooked. 
perfect. Hopefully he behaves himself. Bait over here, so let's try and get this fish in. It's gonna be always the trick when he solo. Let's try and get this fish in. Best way usually. Just fish here in the solo. Just grab the leader. Oh yeah, he's a bit green. Grab the leader and the fish. And there we have it. First fish on the board. And of course, GT. Perfect. Oh, what a start. There's been bait busting up everywhere. Just gonna get the hook out of his mouth. Let's get this fish back in. That's a beautiful start to the trip. Woo! Ah! Ha, ha. Oh. oh, DIY. DIY at its best. Oh, set up camp. Let's go another. Definitely looks like some sort of action here. Back that drag off a little bit. Oh, had a hit from the yellow fin. Just having no luck. Oh, what's that? That's more of a GT. Tack, pack attack, pack attack. Oh, there they are. Where are they? Man, there's sharks and all sorts of stuff going on here. <coughs> All along this edge, I would not know what you're gonna get. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah. I think that's the yellow fin. That's lunch. Oh, woo! That's good fish. Yes! Oh, he's coming back at me. Woo! Yeah, we're starting to tow. Oh, no! Oh, I think he's getting munched by. Woo! Oh, this is crazy, crazy. Oh, he's coming back at me. Woo, Dave. Oh. oh, I think he's getting munched by sharks. No. Oh, woo. Oh, sharks got hold of him. No. No! Ah, oh, no! Pack and take a shark! Oh, big sharks! Oh, blood! Oh, no, now the shark's got the lure. Ah! Let go! Oh! Oh. Exactly what I didn't want. Oh. Now I'm hooked up to the shark. Oh. Damn it! Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, that was lunch. Oh, he was a good yellowfin too. Absolutely smoked it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. There he goes, one lure. Oh. oh, man. Oh, after a few hits and misses, there was GTs in amongst that yellowfin tuna. Hi, everything. Oh, I am got on. Oh, well, that was pretty wild. Now I've got to try and find this popper. Damn it. All right, I'm going to have another cast around here. Ooh, that line's nice and tight now. Jeez, that was quick. Woo! I think 
think that's a doggy. Pretty sure that's a doggy. Woo! Oh, he's getting belted. Woo! Woo, take that deep. Swim. Sharks are after him, so I'm just gonna let him swim for a bit. Oh, they got mad. Oh, oh I got belted. First cast on that lure, and it is gone. Gone. Sharks got out of it and absolutely whooped it. Oh, gone. Just like that. First cast, got absolutely whooped. What about that? Not having much luck. First cast on that lure. Oh, man. Turn that boat off for a second. I just cast that then. I tried to put it in free spool after hooking it. Dive deep. Sharks were under straight away. It's either a doggy or a yellowfin. Oh! Crazy town, this is just sweat dripping off me at the moment. That's how hot it is. This is really wild. It's really, really wild. Anyway, it's really tight. I'll just have a quick cast here while this tide's still gushing. And I'm gonna move over to another reef. This other reef is, uh, it's gonna have a nice big blue hole in it. Just trying to put these casts right up over this reef. I need to probably get in a bit closer, actually. Oh, something just got absolutely walloped up on the flats, and I might even get up on the flats yet. I'll get in and tuck in a bit closer here. Oh, something big there. Wow, still there, still there. Oh, there's a whole lot of fish there. Come on, come on. Come on, what is it? Oh, 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 what are they? I don't even know where they are. Oh, big cooter. Oh, you got it, you bugger. No. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, look at you, you big thing. <laughs> Get out of it. Rat bag. <laughs> oh, but there was something other big and black come in before that. And then there was a silver flash. Like a trout or something. Hopefully these cooter go away. I don't really want them. Now the sharkies turn up, although, yeah, that's sharky. They turn up straight away on this outer. Get up on these shallows. This time of year when the weather warms right up, those sharks get real bad. Oh, man, that's crazy. I'm gonna get up in the shallows now. Oh. Ah, look at them. So there's this little bay in here, this little blue bay in here is holding a lot of fish. There's a little lip, there's lippers there everywhere. Holy moly. So I'm expecting something out of here. I love this sort of fishing, really visual. Oh, fish coming up already. Oh, something big coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this big thing coming in. What is that? What is that? Oh, big trout. Massive tr dino trout. Oh, man, he's big. Big dino trout just come in following that lure. I dare say he'll be coming out of a hole like this. There'll be many more of them. To Get today, this is going to be a struggle to get one out here. I've moved to the other end of the reef now. This tide's just gushing along this corner, and there's heaps of bombies along the edges, and it's a little bit, a little bit deep here, five or six meters. There's just fish everywhere. I don't know what they are, but start casting straight away. There's scores and scores of fusiliers here. Holy moly! Look at them all, so bright. It's going to be very hard to land a good, good fish out of here, I reckon. It's the sort of stuff you get trout out of and stuff like that. The wind's going to push us sideways, it's going to be pain. 
Oh, what the hell is that? That is big and brown. Oh, yes! Oh, I think there's a happy. It's a hump and a merry rest! Oh, 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 no. Far out! That was huge! Oh! Holy moly! First cast of this reef. I couldn't stop him, that was massive. Oh! Oh man! Crazy, I could not stop that fish. P5, I had it fully locked down, just trying to get him out of there. I said at the start it was going to be hard to get one out of that. And it was. I'm not having any luck. Oh man. Big hump headed Mary Rass just come out of there, he just come out, circle behind it, come in on the front of it and just went slurp, slurp that stick bait down and off he went. Hopefully that stick bait pops up. I squashed the barbs on it. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to re-rig up now. I think I'll go to 150 pound leader, I think. Is that, uh, there was no stopping that fish on 80 pound leader. P5 just wouldn't stop it. Ah, oh, damn. I've just changed over to a little popper now, a little 60 grammer. This fella, last time I was on the outer reef, it worked an absolute treat, especially on the trout. It also works usually well on the, just by a little, just doing little pops like that, and then pausing. Oh, so much current on this edge here. Geez, that tide's moving, spinning us around everywhere. Oh! Oh! Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I was just about to turn my head. It's not that big. Little trout. Oh man, good crew to come up then. Look at that, my first trout for the trip. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Magic. Where's me? Goodness. We are bounce that out nicely. That'll be perfect size eating. Nice little trout on the popper. Little popper work to treat. There's some good bombies here, so I'm gonna get that fella back. Woo! All right, now we're getting in a groove. Oh, there's some blackfish here. Don't know what they are. Here we go. Little popper seems to be getting them up. So cool, cause, so, oh! oh. Oh, no, get out of there, get out of the deeper stuff. I got sideways with the rod then, bad angle. Woo! Oh yeah, I love these fellas. Now that, now that's a cool fish. Woo! Look at that, that's a good one too. Oh man, look at that. Absolute stunner, beautiful fish. Magic, look at that. Wee hey hey hey. Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, cast for cast now. Starting to get a little bit of size. That is one hell of a fish. Oh, what? Bleh. Whatever he's got down there, fucking wrong. Oh man. Hold right, on. Let's get that fish back. Off he goes. Oh, bleh. spewing up. Oh. Hungry little fish, that one. Oh, we're back. Starting to land a few now. This is current, we're spinning around everywhere. I like casting this way better anyway. There's gotta be something big along this corner, I reckon. 
Oh, in and out of the water. Oh, that's a good bit. You hit it up out of the water then. Oh, oh whatever. Coming after it. It's not that big. Oh, look at the big one behind it. Big trout, I think, behind it. Look at this one, got it. These are good eating size. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Woo! Another good fish. Oh, so cool. Gotta slow down, Ben. Slow down here. Slow down before you get in. Oh, shit. I hope it's gonna snap out of me now. Oh. oh, another cool one. Oh, yeah. Pass fruit trout. Nice fish. Let's get the hooks out of it. Oh, look at that. They're absolutely beautiful. One of my favourite fish, them. Just get back in. That's easy. Oh, how good is this? Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is what fishing the outer reef's all about. Top water, so visual. Just throwing top water lures and catch and release. Better not do that. Well, I'm in Bristol. Oh, let's go again. I want another. All right. It'd be hard to land a dino trout from that distance. That last one that hit the lure out of the water, it was a dino, a big dino on that. Oh! 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 GT! No! Oh, is it GT? What be bluey? Oh! Oh! Bluey! Woo! Variety keeps on coming. Oh! Let me get this gimbal belt off. Woo-hoo! Oh, he's a big bluey too. Whoa, no, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Snap the lure off, I had a nick in the line. Snap the lure off. He's just there. Ah, oh, shake that hook, I'll just squash the barb, so keep an eye on him. Oh, shark come in. Oh, shark come in then. And I had a nick in my line, so lazy, just all I need to do is just retie. Let me less than the hard way. I'm hoping that fish shakes that lure off and you see it floating up. Oh, but I squashed the barbs. I have been squashing the barbs on these fish. Oh, it's a little bit annoying. Oh, just waiting for that lure to float up. Be over that way somewhere. Should be able to see it pretty easy. This will be the one, but how I'm gonna stop. Oh yeah, that, that, that's the one. Jesus, that's a big fish. That is a big, I don't know what that is, but. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think it's a GT. Oh. Or is it? What is it? A big bluey? No, decent GT. Absolutely walked. Oh, man. Oh. No. Woo! Oh. Now that is a decent GT. Oh, for skinny water. Oh my god. Woo! Oh yeah. Absolutely walloped that right up in that vein like I was saying. Oh. Absolutely walloped it. Oh man. Oh. Get off there. There we go. Good GT. Right up in that bone. He'd be getting close to 15, 20. And he, oh. 
Had to get him out of there. Right. Woo. <laughs> Wet the lens. Oh. Smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Oh. So I'm just putting a bit of hydrate in. As you can see, I'm absolutely soaked, like really soaked and energy levels are, energy levels are low. I've been going hard all day. Plus lack of sleep the last couple of days traveling up here. So this really does, it, we've been testing it for a good 18 months and it's guys that we're working with have refined it a bit and it's a, it's a welcome, welcome drink right now, I tell you. Oh. You can basically just feel it entering your system straight away. So hot, I just forgot how hot it was last time. Oh, head spins, it's all right. I need to get on the drive again. Just to cool down, it's, you just don't stop sweating. But this really does help. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, down it with a bit of water as well. You gotta keep the electrolytes up and keep hydrated out here. Otherwise it can get very dangerous very quickly. Have a look at this. Oh my god. Absolute glass out for days. Storm starting to brew in the background there. It's been an early afternoon for me. I don't know what it is. See him there, look at it, look at it. Dark one there. What is that? Oh, it's a milkfish. He, he ain't gonna chase me proper. No point getting him. Oh, jeez! As soon as I hit the water, I didn't even get it. Oh, that's big, that's big. Oh, sort of don't want to hook from here, but he's gonna, he's gonna take it anyway. He's gonna take it anyway. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna take it anyway. He is gonna take it anyway. Oh, probably don't want to ride too fast because he, he's gonna come for this reef. Oh, what is he? Big bastard. Oh, just gonna let him go here a bit. Oh, no, it's a big trout. Man, man, man. Massive trout. Look at him. Oh, big dino. Oh. Oh! Woo! Hey, just hooked. Just hooked. Yeah. That's what I got this thing for. Death rolls. And that, that's how it's done. Oh! -ha! I'm gonna take that lure out. It's just on the little popper. Be absolutely drilled it. Here we go. Barbless hooks. Yep. These things are crazy, about the same size as that one that got me in the leg. Oh, <laughs> yeah, big dino. Oh, yeah, drop your mouth, mate. Oh, look at that. Oh, these things are crazy. Look at that. He's about to snap. But that thing is an absolute beast. Big mouth on it. He'll snap out in a minute. Oh, he's burning up. He's all stiff in the body. I'm gonna get him back while he's healthy. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Just trying to stop the fish. Looks good. They're all over me. Oh, that was cool. Well, well, he come from over right over the side. Oh man! Well, he was quick. Yeah, he was keen. Oh, well, I guess that change up worked. Oh yeah, 
That's a good fish. Woo! Oh, man. Look at that. Absolute magic fish. Oh, look at him. He just wants to snap out. Woo! So good. He come from a mile away. Absolutely smash it. See you later, buddy. How good. Oh, that little change up worked a treat. Oh, man. That could have been disastrous, huh? That was cool. Oh. Oh, I'm not really going to stand in there without snorkels or anything. Oh. Oh, but that's refreshing. Oh, so hot, I. I knew this was going to be tough. When you're by yourself, you haven't got your mate to push you along, give you a little rev up every now and then to tell you to come on. But, um, yeah, it's rewarding. It's been fun so far. Lost a few fish. Smacked some good ones, good dino trout early on. Nice GT up in the up in the uh, vein of that reef. So it's been very cool. But I mean, it's just the scenery and just knowing you're in big fish country, that's what does it for me. Um, place you away from everyone. Like, I haven't seen a soul. Like, I was asking for a radio check earlier on, just safety reasons, but. Um, yeah, it's just so peaceful out here. Look, like I can see the white water breaking over the outer reef out there. And I don't know how good the video, uh, video is showing up, how how crystal clear this water is. It's a bit hard without a polarized lens. Polarized lens. Polarized lens. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I am wrecked. The last couple of days of driving and sleeping in the swag and waking up hot and getting sand flies bitten and yeah that's been tough but it's all worth it when you come out to a place like this i think there's going to be a storm brewing tonight i've just got that funny feeling so i'm gonna to have to get back at a reasonable hour just so i can make camp properly i've got a fair few days here i'll probably stay till friday depending on how i'm feeling and how things are going and yeah just soaking all the atmos in atmos as we call it it's uh, absolutely magnificent so i'm just going to get back up in the flats here and keep fishing this for a little bit longer wait for that tide to kick and then um i'll boot in see if i can find some um micro jigging marks so i can do a bit of micro jigging and try and get a, a nanny or something like that i don't really need dinner or anything but wouldn't mind just changing up a bit flats are good and i can do it for the rest of the week but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a bit of jigging. Not real fussed on going out and doing the deep jigging just yet. Probably maybe tomorrow morning if it's glassy. Just those so sharks give you an absolute touch up. It's no good for the fish either. Anyway, we'll keep pushing on. Hope you're enjoying so far. He's, they just want me to go over the real wrong stuff, eh? These red bass. Yeah, the more you speed it up, the more fired up they get sometimes. Oh! Oh, that's big! That's... Oh, I think it's a big flurry! Oh, man! Oh, that is big! That's a good one! Oh, for that lure! Oh, oh no! Stay out of there! Oh. Wow! Wow! What a slob! Oh, how good is that? Oh, lip gap, lip gap this one. Oh, it's the only thing when you're by yourself, you got to try and do it all yourself. We oh, yeah, are death row. No, I want the, I want the bottom lip, buddy, because that ain't going to harm you. Oh. That's it. And a big fat slob, absolute slob of a thing. Oh, look, that's a slob. Woo, that's awesome. On that little 40 grammer. Let me get the 
He's only just slip hooked too. Oh yeah, big slobby slob. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Well, you won't be able to see much. Look at that thing. That's very cool. Very cool. Oh, I see you later. He goes, look at that, straight into his cave. That's so cool. Oh, man. Now we're starting to land some fish. How good is this? Great barrier reef. Absolute paradise. Oh, yeah. Man, there's so many fish here. So many fish here. I just haven't got a long nose emperor yet, which I'm really keen to get. There's a fair few fish, I just can't think of any. Oh man, that's big! That's, that's, that's big! That's big. That is big. That is big. He busted me, but that was big. That was big. I don't know what that was, but I could see the shape, but whatever it was, it was quite large. I didn't think there was much chance there. Always a risk of throwing that far. Yep, he got the lot, unfortunately. I'll go just out over there and see what happens. Oh, whatever that was, it was big. It cleaned me up on this reef right here. It's going straight underneath it. I was a long cast, so it was going to be a struggle. Just sort of might find the lure or something. You might shake it out or something like that. He went straight under here. Oh man, there's some big bass here too. Oh, that might be a big long nose. That's a long nose, that one there. I'm gonna have to tackle back up. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that reef over there doing? Oh man, it's looking black on the horizon. Ah, well, it's been quite a day so far. It's only two o'clock. Tackle back up. Uh, lead is a bit long, but uh, I think I need it long at the moment. Way I've been getting touched up. Absolutely getting towed on the reef. A lot of red bass around here. Whatever that was earlier on though, that towed me out was big. I don't know, I had a feeling it might have been a rustic. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that's gonna be a red bass. He's got the head start on me. Uh, and it feels all right too. Oh, wish I could see where he was so I could see what reef he's gonna end there he is. Oh no. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, yellow lip emperor. Oh yeah. Same as all those other emperors. Sweep lip and all those. That is a nice fish, look at that. Just absolutely smash it and they go hard too. Gotta to get those guys out of the reef. up around here. Oh that was interesting. That was interesting. Whatever that was. Oh, be oh beautiful fish. Look at that. Magic. Where you guys? So I've been going hammer and tong today, trying to fish these flats and I think it's time now to go and boot, boot my way up and do the, um, into the deeper stuff. Go and try and do a bit of jigging actually. Um, yeah, do a bit of micro jigging, try and get some um, nannies and trout and stuff like that. Just mix it up a little bit. Uh, I've been doing this most of the day up on the flats now and it's only a bit later. A bit worried about that black cloud in the background. Yeah, it's been an awesome day so far. Everything I thought it was going to be and some. So, a couple of smokings, but you get that on the big jobs. Let's go and do some jigging. Tuna right there. Oh, 
Oh, yep. That's the start. Here we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh. Here we go. Straight on the jig. Oh. Don't know what we got here. Little trout or something, I'd say. Oh, look at that. Beautiful trout. On the jig, how good. Oh, yeah. That's how you start. On the new little slow pitch uh, car 60 grammer panty droppers, just in the new color. And you can see just the paint doesn't come off like it is absolutely smacked on there they look absolutely awesome and that fish is going to be beautiful dinner i think although no i'm going to let him go let this fish go he's healthy if he's healthy and he swims down otherwise it's going to be dinner whoop oh oh yep he's trying yeah, trying to even his bladder out. And away he goes, down to, down to the depths. Well, that's a good little start. A little, little rise I had in 26 metres. Beautiful. It's a start, and you can see the fish swim down nicely. Ah, oh, well, that was first drop of the jig. And I got a trout straight up. I'm gonna change the, try and change the battery on this uh, GoPro. It's taking a while to um, charge up actually. But let's, uh, let's get the jig down again. We're onto some more fish here, look at this. Well, I've got me a little game type J. I love this little outfit for jigging here. Or well, not here, not that I've jigged here before, but for jigging in this sort of water. It's only 27 meters of water and um, yeah, it's coral trout, hopefully nannies, there's a nice fish there now, just going down, I'm just going to put the electric on, but I'll... oh, straight away, that is a good fish, oh, that's going to bust me, I think, oh man, oh, that's a big fish, whatever that is, that's got a big head thump, please be a big red nanny, oh, big red emperor, Oh, wow. Oh, he's not happy. I just don't want to let him down any. Oh, he's taking me down. Oh, this is a good fish. He's in the reef. I'm trying to get him out. Oh, there we go. Reefed. Ah, oh, man, that was a good fish. That was a big fish. Man, he's just chafed up my leader. I think I'm just going to have to go to a uh, bit heavier, bit heavier rig, which I've got rigged up, ready to go. So I'll keep the same sort of jig size. I think that was getting down there nicely, but I'll just get my P5 up. That was a big fish. That was really big. Hopefully, it won't put the others down. Oh. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, oh. oh I don't know, but it's got to be. Oh, this has got some go about it. It's cranking on the way up. Oh, I don't know what it Oh, man, that took me straight into the reef. That was big. Oh. Couldn't stop him on the 50 pound. It's just, oh my God, that was big. Just, oh, the whole lot done me again. Ah, oh, well, that'll do me. That's it for the day. We're gonna go and punch home. I've got some stuff to do back there and it looks like we might get a storm actually. So let's get back. Bar out.
So that's the first day, pretty much done and dusted. What an adventure it started with. Like all the travel, all that, all those hours you put in, lack of sleep, and then you come here to this. It looks a bit stormy in the background and it could be a storm building up, although it's sort of been moving sort of across that way. But it doesn't matter anyway, I'm about to set up camp. But it's been an unbelievable adventure. If I was told to go home tomorrow, I'd be pretty dirty, but pretty satisfied as well. It's only day one. I can't wait to see what the rest has, has to offer. I'm gonna go and set up, and then uh, hopefully I still got a little bit of light, and we can sit down and relax and crack a beer, because that's what it's all about. Just having a good old session out in the bay or out in the water. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. But having a good old session out in the water and then going cracking a beer, relaxing, watching the sun go down. Oh man, what a day. Destination paradise. Oh, so happy I've done it. Well, that's it for me for the night. Um, as you can hear, I'm just cooking tea. It's been an unbelievable day. Just absolutely unbelievable. I probably didn't have as much luck as what I would have liked. A couple of yellowfin mist, a couple of smokings up on the uh, up on the reef flats, and then smoking right at the end um, on the jig. It was a real good fish. I actually smoked it by a couple of big fish on the jig. So it was a day of uh, day of chances, but I've got the camp all set up here at the background. Oh, is it there? Yep, there's my camp. We've got a nice breeze coming through, so that's going to help me sleeping. Um, I'll show you the camp in the morning. That'll do me. I'm going to cook tea, and then I'm going to turn it in for the night. And I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the It's 5am now. Been up for the last sort of half hour. I woke up at midnight uh, last night. Um, I just couldn't get back to sleep. I got up and took some more water in and cleaned the teeth. Had a bit of a wander down the beach, check the boat. Boat's all good. I'm trying to gather my thoughts this morning. Yeah, just eventually went back to sleep about 1.30. Must have got about six or seven hours last night, which is awesome. Wasn't a bad sleep. Ended up putting the fan on the... I had a bit of a breeze last night. It was good. Really good breeze last night coming through. And then that breeze just stopped after midnight. And I put the fan on and... Um, the little fan in there, so it's not too bad. It keeps you cool. It's, it's good. I'll show you around camp earlier on, uh, or sorry, later on once the sun comes up a bit. But I'm about to have coffee. So, got the jet ball going. Hustle and grind. Coffee from Wade. You've got the aero press there. Pan. I'm going to uh, cook some scrambled eggs this morning with uh, a little idea of John B over in America. I seen he was. What the hell's in there? Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, oh, you... I don't know if you can see that. It's like little bugs in it. Little live bugs in the... Oh. How the hell did they get in there? That is so weird. Oh my God. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> It's dill leaf, uh, paprika, and salt and pepper. The, the dill leaf have got little bugs in it. That's really weird. I wonder if that camera's picking that up enough. There's little bugs in it. It's a sealed bottle. I've never opened that before, ever. Wow, ever. Hmm. I do not know what they are. Anyway, we're going to get the coffee on after all that. Get the jet ball going, coffee going. I'm going to sit back and relax for a bit. And think about having breakfast. How beautiful is this? My own stretch of beach to myself. A little nor'easter still pushing through. The sun's just about to come out. Look at that. Oh my god, I've got such a stiff neck. My whole body's sore from yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it is killing me. My shoulder, my back. Last night's sleep was not too bad. It's just those hair mattresses are nothing like your own bed. 
But anyway, you can't whinge about it. You've got the boat anchored up out here. Got my little pulley system, which I've done a so all right video. Yeah, that thing I'll show you a bit later, but I picked that off off the off the ground and swept in last night, about midnight last night. Um, it looks like an old motorbike helmet or something. It looks so weird. But uh, I've got omelette and a leftover sausage from last night. That omelette's going to be beautiful. It's uh, paprika dill where the bugs were in, so hopefully I'm not eating the bugs. A bit of salt and pepper. Little recipe I've seen on uh, John B. Storyline. Of course, hustle and growing coffee. Magic. Beautiful. I just still can't, I'm still blown away that I'm out here by myself. Just no one around, except for the birds. The birds were chirping all night. I've stayed well away from them. They've obviously got nests, so I think nests down there, and nests down the other end here somewhere. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna run out of SD card in a minute, but this is unbelievable. Almost ready to go. I'm about to go back out in the boat. I'm gonna punch straight out the outer reef, actually. I thought it was gonna be a bit windy there, but it's just, just absolutely dropped off, so it's absolute glass out. But I'm gonna give you a quick look around camp. It is organized chaos at the moment, but it is, it is fairly neat and tidy, really. Um, there's my fuel dump. So I've just got all my fuel there. I've got a big battery inside. There's a spare. Uh, I've got 10 liters of water. I'm a little bit worried about my water situation. I'm drinking a lot more than what I thought. I would have budgeted for eight liters a day, but I think I went through about 10 or 11 liters and I'm sw absolutely sweating up a storm and it's only quarter past six this morning. Here's my little bed set up. A couple little air mattresses inside there. Wasn't the uh, most comfortable sleep. I've got the tarp way over the top which is awesome got a nice strong rope pinned across and then got my uh little front roof coming off just to stop any rain coming in from the front there if we get a nice little uh squall or something like that uh, i've cleared cleared a bit of a these little things here like oh man you got no idea how much they've been hurting my feet i think i'm gonna wear shoes back up here i didn't bring me thongs over the island i left them back at the car but I've cleared a bit of a way. You can see, like this was all covered in this sort of stuff, this dry stuff here. But I've sort of cleared a way of where I'm going to be walking. Um, that way, I'm oh, still walking through it though. Got a little bit of water here. This is cooking from, uh, this is my cooking area. I, I had my uh, hot plate, but I'm going to take that out. Or my little gas cooker, I'm going to take that out with me and uh, cook up some lunch, hopefully, if I catch something. Um, that's what I forgot to take. Uh, I was going to take some wraps out with me. I don't think I will. I, I bought so many wraps. There's my food container. I've got a bit of food in there. Carrots, potatoes, all that sort of stuff. A little bit of red wine to celebrate when I come in. I've got a cold, one cold beer left. I think the ice is just about done. So I'm going to be uh, yeah, in trouble there. And yeah, just, just the general area, the new cast bags, waterproof bags are so handy. I've got two of them on this trip, one there, one there, clothes in this one, all my bedding was carried out in that one. Um, yeah, so it's just allowed me to just put stuff outside with not having to worry about it getting wet. But yeah, that's, that's camp. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm hoping to get out sometime on Friday. I'll probably head back to the mainland on Friday and then start driving home. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's a quick trip, but there's only so much you can pack on a little boat But I think by the time I uh, finish here on Friday, hopefully um, I think I'll be absolutely wrecked. My body is I can't believe how sore it is I knew it was going to be sore, but I just can't believe how sore it is after the first day oh. <laughs> I keep raving on about it, but this, this is stuff dreams are made of I'm going to head down to the boat and uh, pack it up, I'm ready to go.
couldn't get any better conditions than what we just had. But I've just stepped out over the other. It's, it's quite intimidating. You come out and it just drops off to absolute abyss. I was just in 60 meters of water. The reef's only just over here. And uh, now my sound is not reading. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very deep. I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to start casting. There's an incoming tide at the moment. We've got another hour of tide. And I'm going to start casting on this edge. There's all reef all along this edge over here. And there's a big pressure edge just down that corner, just over there. Big pressure edge. So I'm thinking I'm going to be drifting down that way. And I'm going to be chasing a topwater doggy. Yeah, I'm, I haven't got my hopes up for it, but um, and landing it might be a problem. But um, yeah, why not try? Otherwise, I'll uh, come back and do some jigging on it. But I'm just going to have one drift along here. Along this pressure, there's a lot of current. I've just seen some bait put, chopping up. A lot of current pushing along here. So hopefully there's a good pressure edge and uh, hopefully these doggies might stack up and I'm, they might rise to the top. And it's worthwhile just having a shot at it. Uh, I haven't got a top water doggy and I haven't got a real good one yet either, like a good sized fish. So why not, let's, uh, let's try. I'd love to get one on my own. Well, you're a good chance of a doggy along here. Top water doggy would be the absolute ultimate. Oh, there's a good, it's a good school of bait, I think, or either that or some massive pressure. No, it's a big pressure edge. Need to slow it down. Oh, that's a doggy! Doggy on top! Doggy on top! <laughs> that's a doggy. That's a doggy. That's a doggy on top. That's a doggy on top. That's a doggy. It just happened. It just happened. He's going straight down. That's a doggy on top. Do you, that is a doggy on top. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please, please, please. Please. Doggy on top. Woo! No. No. Oh no. That was a doggy on top. Oh. Oh my God. That just happened. Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna keep casting here. Oh! Woo! Shark's following up now. But I just had a doggy on top. Oh my god. This pressure edge here. He's gonna hold him. Oh. The old whitey got belted. Just absolutely roasted. Screaming. There's a good school of bait coming up. Looks like I'm going to be drifting towards it. This is sort of zone though. I reckon I'm going to get a doggy if I'm going to get one. I've already hooked one. You can tell tale signs of a doggy, just the first head shake, he just hooked up and then just took off. Like my reel was so hot just from the actual drag screaming. Oh, what that was a little what, whatever else was just little and it just slipped it off the top. Shark uh, uh, straight onto it. Look at him. Look at that shark. Oh no, well, that's not what you want. Little mackerel. Look at that. Sharky there. Little shark mackerel, little doggy mackerel. Look at that for a marlin bait. Now, that is a marlin bait if I've ever seen it. Marlin fishermen have. Here we go, barbless hooks. And good luck, buddy. It's not going to take long to destroy. He's going to be all over. Oh, where's the sharks at? Hopefully that, there we go. Look at the sharks going to go after him. Sharks coming. Shark on. Hopefully not a shark. Oh, you bugger. That's a shark. Come on. Come on, let go of it. Let go of it. 
haven't done anything with him yet. Oh, no, he's not happy. He's not happy. <clears throat> oh, another shark having a look at him. Another couple of sharks having a look at him. That's a bugger. Look at that. I don't really want to do that on my own. I wonder if I can get the gaff. I'm going to put it in free spool. one and the other one's buried in harder Ooh. Huh? You're a bugger. How are you? Let's see how it's done. A little bit dangerous on your own doing that. But we got it done. Oh, oh they're a pain in the ass, the old shark head here. Just trying to. Oh, that's a. It's a real hassle, you know. I think I'm in the zone, huh? It's all. I think I'm in the zone. I hope one of them are going to know all about it, I think. Yep, that's in the zone, I reckon. There's a bird watching it. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a good size elephant. Oh, no. Shark straight on him. Oh, give me some. Give me some. Oh, I think he's been bitten. Oh, though he's moving pretty quick. Oh, there we go. Good sort of elephant. That's a good fish. These things go absolutely. Oh, there we go. There's a catch and release. Woo! Here's a good size, too. Oh, man. Oh. Let's go again. That was very cool. They're all around here. These birds are hanging around like a bad smell. Oh, top water elephant. Grab the leader. Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't know if that's a elephant or a it. Nah, that's a elephant. Oh, oh, sharks after him. Don't get too deep, buddy. Oh, he's getting belted. Oh, oh no. Oh, kidding me. He got bitten off. Oh, it didn't take him long to come around. Whew. Got one to the boat and lost one. I was just saying, oh, they're still around here too. This is insane. What a start to the morning. Top water doggies. Top water yellowfin. Oh man, I'm sweating up a storm. But I'm full of energy today. It's good. I'm more energy today, I reckon, than what I had yesterday. But we'll see. See how we go by the end of the day. Oh, that was crazy. I think I'm going to end up replacing this leader. I haven't got much leader left. Ah, oh, that was very cool. I'd say that would have been a yellowfin. Oh, yellowfin tuna! 
Wow, that is an insane hit. That's a good fish too. That's a solid one. Oh, please don't run. Oh, wow, that's a good fish. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, there's a shark after him. No, 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 there's a million sharks after him here. Oh. Oh. Woo. Oh. This has got my lure back. Holy shit. That was crazy. One more. I just can't help myself. I'm going to run out of lures by the end of this trip. Oh man. I don't mind this lure swimming like that. Looks good. Just get it going ahead under the water. It's going side to side and the fish love it. Uh oh, shark's coming. Oh, you bugger. Oh, oh man. That is good. Look at this. <laughs> that is insane. Wow. Oh, let's get out of here before these sharks. Coralie Reef here for exactly what we want. Nice cast. Ties a little bit higher than I'd like. This is where I think I'm going to get a nice coral trout out of here. Oh, straight away. Oh, that, that's big. Oh, that's really big. That's, that's going to do me, I think. Oh, no. Uh, uh, that's really big. Really big. Oh, that's it. Swim over that way. Oh. I've got a feeling it's a GT. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. I oh, know he isn't. Oh, I don't know, not, do not know what it is actually. Oh. Oh. oh no. Pulled hooks. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, what is that? Is that a red bass? Oh, man, it's all gonna happen here, I think. My little, my little pet Trevor, he's going back. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes again. Oh, he got it that time. Oh, man. Finally got it. He wanted it. There we go. Blue Trev on the little black black popper. Look at how lit up they are. So lit up. See you later, buddy. Oi. Doesn't look very good. What are you doing? Oh, that's weird. I'm sure he'll kick. Oh. Blue Trevelli anyway. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming off. He's just a little bit wounded. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Flicked it over the least fishiest looking water. And of course, there comes a couple of fish. Oh my God. What do we got following in? Oh. Yellow lip emperor for lunch it is. If I can get him in, there it is. We're gonna eat him. That's lunch, finally. Right there. Ah, oh, thank God for that. What we're gonna do is put him in the hessian bag, wet the hessian bag down. Then I'm gonna get driving and put this guy in the shade, let him cool down a bit. Hessian bag will really cool it down once it's nice and wet. And we'll get driving, I'll, I'll get rid of all the sweat and that way I can uh, put some more sunscreen on. And I'm gonna stop for lunch, relax for a bit. It's a beautiful day, we've got some big storm clouds building out there. Hopefully they keep moving that way. Some in the background too. Anyway, that was good. Finally, yellow lip emperor. Let's get him in the Hessian bag. All right.
Oh, we're gonna keep casting here. I'm just waiting for that fish to cool down and then we'll make some lunch. We'll get in behind this back of this reef here. This looks like a big fish country. Oh yes, straight away. Oh yeah, nice trout. Love that for dinner. Well, I've been out after a trout, after a trout this whole time, and uh, finally get one. There we have dinner. Bled trout, perfect. Taste the pressure off for later. Here's your bag. Sit nice and flat in there. Yeah, give it another dip. Whoa, I didn't know that. Some nice cool fish. Hip in the shade. No worries. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Fish are starting to really go nuts now. I'm going to push right up here in the shallows, but. Fish is starting to go nuts. Oh, 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 jeez. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love these things. Look at that. Hands are all slippery. Oh, we are. Hands are all slippery from that sunscreen. Oh, beautiful passion fruit. Oh yeah, look at this. Just a beautiful fish. Mouth on it. You slip that off the top. Beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. Ah, oh, so awesome. Now the day's starting to heat up. That tide's starting to go out. And we're starting to cook. I literally cook. <laughs> well, I decided to have the coral trout. Not much left on him. Catch and release. Beautiful couple of fillets. Gonna be for lunch. Just gonna skin him. Beautiful. It don't get much fresher than that. Take the bones out. Another bone there. Take those rib bones out. There's one there. Oh man, that looks so fresh. Right, the best way to eat trout, in my opinion, a little bit of oil in the pan. Just like slip him back in the pocket there. And simple stuff. The old salt and pepper, nothing else. Set that pan heat up. We'll have lunch in no time. Just cut those trouts up in small pieces, a bit easier to cook. I'm not to get through all this. I might just cook it all up and have some for a snack later on. No doubt get hungry. There we have it. All that trout fits in nicely. Just gonna crack a bit more pet of salt on it. Oh, while well, I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm gonna go in for a quick swim. Just to cool down, cool the body down. Cool the head down, oh man. Oh. Only thing I'm missing is a squeeze of lemon. That was the one thing I forgot at the shops before I got here. But, saying that, this little bit's ready. I'm gonna give it a little taste taster. Oh my God. My favorite way to cook coral trout. Just a squeeze of lemon's the only thing that's missing, but you don't need anything else but a little bit of salt and pepper. And that right there is the best ever. There's so much to eat here.
Come and come and share it. Come on. Come and get into this. It is unbelievable. That's as fresh as it gets. Aye. Oh, yeah. How good. Into the never never. Never never know. Oh. Looks like something dark under my lure there. Very dark. Oh yeah. Oh. Very dark and big. Stay out. Oh, he's running for this corner. Oh, stay out of there. In the clear now. Oh. Woo. That's a good sized trout, that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a good one. Ah, oh, not massive. Look at that. That is beautiful fish. Oh yeah. The old snap out king. Let's see if he can snap out before I get that. That is a good fish. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Absolutely stunning on that big. Oh yeah, there they are, they're so snappy out. They're free time. Oh yeah, look. Oh, this is trouble. Big trouble. Come on. There's something up here. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's a big fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. I think it's a GT. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, it's still there. Still there. Still there. Come on. Oh, yes. What is that? Oh, man. Long nose emperor. He just come out of nowhere. Was that a big yellow lip? Oh, my God. Big long nose. Woo! He's gonna be green, this fella. Oh, please. Big long nose. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of that. Big long nose emperor. On the little black popper, that change up actually worked. GT's come flying in after it. Bang, bang, bang. And then this fella come out of nowhere and absolutely walloped it. I wish I had my head one on that. As soon as I don't have the head mount, that was the best take. Just gonna get the release. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was awesome. Wow. I just realized I'm ex absolutely exhausted. Oh, absolutely exhausted. I can't catch my breath properly. I feel a little bit oh, giddy in the head. It's just that heat just is relentless. It's, even though there's that breeze, thank God that breeze is there, but whew. I'm gonna get off these flats and get some air, start heading back and do some jigging back in closer. Just try and get some air through my lungs and get some breeze over, breeze over the top of me. He's <laughs> not absolutely beat. Oh man, I'll probably have an early one today, I think, because uh. As much as I'd like to lap it up, I've done pretty much all the stuff I wanted to do out here so far. I just want to land a, a doggy or a, well, I just want to land a doggy. That'd be awesome, but just don't think I have the energy to wait until this afternoon. And when you're by yourself, it's, yeah, it's hard, to get, hard to keep the motivation levels up. I'm always pretty, my energy levels are always pretty high and I always stay upbeat, but when you haven't got your mate to push you along or yeah, it just makes it a little bit harder. But it's all cool. It's all part of the journey. <sighs> Destination paradise, right? <laughs> all right, I've come closer in shore now. There's a nice bommy over here. I'm just gonna have a cast for a GT. There's a bit of bait over this bommy. I'm only gonna be using the light stuff, so a little bit of sport. As you can see, plenty of fusies. Oh, and it didn't take long. It didn't take long at all. That did not take long. Just like that. Oh. Oh. 150 pound leader. 
He's just looked up the side too. They got these sharp scoots on the backs of their fins. And he got me straight in the finger. Ah, oh, in the thumb. Sliced me open. Ah! Oh, but how good. Should get a glove on, eh? That'd be smart. Oh! Here we go. Oh! As soon as I stop. Oh, you gotta see this. You gotta see it. Oh, he's still swimming around. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Pack attack. Pack attack. Oh, there he is. Oh, this shouldn't take too long, Luna. Oh, what's that? Red bass. Big one. Oh, big red. Red bass. Oh, big red bass. Oh, oh man. Wow. Just wow. Oh, the power in this thing. Oh, oh he's going to be very green. That is a big red bass. That is big. Oh, my God. Wow. They pack a tag of GTs. And then this guy come along. Holy. Oh. Oh, I wanted to show you that. That was amazing. Wow. Oh, well, let's go again. Watch this. This shouldn't take too long. Bang, hits the water. Pop, pop, pop. Bang, straight on. Straight on. Straight on. Ah! Ah! Wow. Ah! Perfect size for P4. Ah. I'm going to get a glove on. Pack attacks from Red Bass. Pack attacks from GTs. I just seen a marlin jump over there. Oh, there it goes again. Black marlin jumping over there. Or a sailfish, one of the two. Take a breath. Come on. Relax. We'll get this fish off. A bit easier when you haven't got a glove when you got a glove on. Wow. Wow. Well, it's that time of the day. We've come back to the beach. I've uh, hooked up the boat. She's on a permanent anchor now. I'm just going to sit back and appreciate the sunset. My beer's still cold. This is my last one. I should I should have brought a heap more. But anyway, we've got a little bit of scotch and some red wine there anyway to appreciate the sunset with as well. Um, Today was another amazing day. That outer reef is just something else. I had to really, I uh, really had to pull myself away from that, uh, from those shallows or the or the flats as you call them, because it's uh, it's really addictive stuff. Unbelievable. You know some of the fish you see coming out and grabbing your lure, and again another another day of heartache. You know first up in the morning. I went out and did what I said I wanted to do, is that uh, I want to go and target a topwater doggy and yeah, hooked up on one and off it ran. Sharks were grabbing hold of it or trying to grab hold of it and I was using barbless hooks. I've been crushing most of the barbs while I've been here after last year's, well, earlier in the year's incident. So um, yeah, just pulled hooks on it. A couple of yellowfin, one to the boat and just pulled hooks on it right, at, right on the leader grab. Um, shark give me a touch up again got smoked a couple of times same thing on the jig got smoked then on, on a shark grabbing hold of it on the way up it was a good fish but all in all it's just an amazing day and you come back to this place and it's just unbelievable like have a look at this like, I, I must say I've been missing with missing fishing with a mate. I would love to have Miss Guthrie here or Tyson or even me mate Mickey Ty, or Robbie, Robbo, or my dad. I think dad has struggled now. It's um, 
that heat, like I struggle today in that heat. It's, it's I think I was, I was feeling a bit crook. I, um, yeah, I was feeling a bit crook there at one stage, a bit head spinny and crook in the guts. It's just when I was eating that trout, I had to make myself eat that trout. It was beautiful to eat, don't get me wrong, but it was just so I had to make myself eat it. Yeah, I had nothing in my stomach, but I felt crook in the guts. It's just stifling heat. We've got to build up to the wet. You can see the big storm clouds starting to build, but it's just it's all blowing across at the moment, which is good. Got the afternoon sea breeze. Hopefully that keeps up during the night. But enough for me. Uh, I'll cook a feed up a bit later. I'm going to just enjoy paradise at the moment. And um, and we made old helmet here, old helmet head. Picked that up at the beach last night. Just take it in, take it in serenity, and take in the whole um, the whole solo effort. Um, it hasn't really hit me yet, I don't think. I can feel it just setting in that no one's around, but I keep expecting someone to turn up, but no one has. Maybe no one likes me. Anyway, enough of me. It's going to get drain up, a bit windy, making excuses. I might get it up tomorrow, but for now, that's me, adios, I might cook a bit of dinner a bit later on, show you what's going on, but that's it for me, done and dusted, cheers. I've decided it's treat night tonight, I've got a nice bottle of, nice bottle of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, a little Cab Sav, the Stanley Cup. So I'm going to have a nice red wine, I'm going to fire up a few sausages, I've got a stack of steak here left, I might, uh, holy shit, I'm not going to cook all those up, how's this, sun, sun going down slowly over there, although it's not much of a sunset, it's built up the wet so it's going to be cloudy, cut my sausages, and this is what it's all about, just the adventure. Living rough, few bangers. This is living. This is what you call living. How good! A little taste test. Let's um, let's give it a little. Oh, I love red wine, by the way. It's one of my favourites, and I love Cab Sav. It's a little bit. I think it's a little bit warm. Oh, that could send me a little bit silly later on. But that, that is really good. Wow. I don't think that, bar, that bottle's going to last very long. But one beer, I'm going to try and keep it, try and keep it nice and nice and easy tonight. Don't go over the top. I need to have a sleep. How can you not take this in? Look, look, look at that. All right, I've had a couple of sips of red now, and the silly stuff's going to come out. The emotional stuff's going to come out. Ah, oh, but I don't care. I'm in paradise. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just missing my family and I miss me mates, but there's no better place than this. Out in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. I love it. I love Australia and I love the Great Barrier Reef. I'm going to start gibbering. Get me out of here. <laughs> so the fish catching is good, but sometimes it's this part of the trip that I love is just coming in, sun's going down, just cooked up a feed or three steaks, four beef sausages, and I got a red wine. Sun's been beating me all day, but it's been all worth it. Just sitting here on a little island like this, having a feed, and <laughs> watching the sun go down. This morning I went to bed really early last night. I think I went to bed at 7.30 or quarter to eight or something like that. Sort of just laid down for a bit and went to sleep and for three hours, got up at sort of 10.30ish, cleaned my teeth, had a wander down, checked the boat and all that sort of stuff and then yeah, just did a few bits and pieces. Went back to bed about 11 o'clock and 
Yeah, I've had a pretty good sleep actually. Although my body is absolutely aching. My shoulder last night was killing me. My lower back, my neck. My neck is so sore. Like I'm that stiff and sore. It's like I've had three games of footy in a row. It's yeah, it's quite a test on the body. Yeah, it's a little bit of a test on the mind too, just to get up and get at them now. But yeah, I, I, I crave this sort of stuff. This is awesome. Even though you're hurt and whatever, you just get to learn a lot about yourself and how hard you can really push. You know, had to be, you know, we're fishing, so it's it's doing something that I absolutely yeah. love. But uh, so coffee is made. I don't know what the plan of attack is today. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't know what their plan of attack is today. Might go and check a couple of wrecks I've got marked out. They've yeah, got a making tide, so I think I'm going to check out one of these islands. They've got mangroves there and a big system that you can sort of get in like a like a creek system. So I want to go and check that out and see what it has to offer. I'm going to actually put the fly rods in the boat and uh, have that as an option. I might go and walk the flat somewhere once this um, sun comes up. Yeah, just go and have a look around. I'm just going to do a bit of an explore day today. Done the outer reef a couple of times now, and I think I'll finish on the outer reef tomorrow, do a bit of jigging and all that sort of stuff, but today I'm just going to concentrate on exploring. Just in the middle of refueling. Oh, head like a drop pie at the moment. But how good is that? The sunrise. Wind is just blowing a little bit more than what it has been. Not heavy or anything like that. It's probably blowing 10 knots at the moment, 12 knots maybe. We're going to head that way, I think, and go and check out uh, some some wrecks. You can see the big sand flats out the back here. I think they get blue bastards here. <laughs> you know what I've done this morning? I've realised that I haven't brought my 12 weight rod. I'm spewing. I grabbed the wrong rod tube, didn't even think to check. And all it has in there is one little piece of a spare piece to my seven weight rod. The actual 12 weight rod tube is either at Mick Guthrie's or at my place sitting somewhere. So no GTs on fly, unfortunately, unless I get it on the nine weight, which is possible, but probably not. I've turned up to this uh, wreck and there's definitely fish on it. It, look, it looks pretty good actually. I'll spin around. Just trying to wrestle with my spot lock at the moment. It's only 14 metres deep, so it's only shallow. This should be interesting. A little wreck in the middle of nowhere, you think it's gonna hold some fish. It's not much of a show down the bottom, it's not a huge wreck. Oh, Jesus, you hit that on the way down. Well, I'm just ta changing tactics here. I've been doing a bit of jigging around this and I've, I'm finding some fish, but they're just not, they're just not hitting the lure like I'd like them to be. They just uh, had a couple of little pecks and I've well, just changed it up to a plastic on the lighter rig. We'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. The old plastic. <laughs> the change up to the plastic worked a treat. Just got a little quarter ounce jig head, five inch shad. There we go. There's a fish. That was on the way down. Guessing this is a chevalier of some sort. Little Spanish mackerel. Oh yeah, hey. Oh, yeah, freight up, freight up in line. Little Spanish. There's a start. 
I have to uh, put a new plastic on and change my leader a little bit. Just dropping this plastic down, keeping an eye on my braid on the way down, just in case something grabs it on the way down. There we go, something grab it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Something did grab it on the way down. A little change up to plastic seems to have worked. Sometimes it's the way to go when they're really not on the bite. May as well change up to something. That's what we're after. I just want, want them a little bit bigger. But they're down there. Beautiful nanny guy. Large mouth nannies. Just want a big one, that's all. Is that about it? Back down to his mates. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. He's got that. Yes. It might be a bit better, this one. A little bit better. I would dare say that's a keeper. Definitely a better fish. On the plastic. Oh yeah, good. There we go. Nice nanny. Guys, got a real good showing now on the sander. Well, I'm going to pack it up from here and I'm going to move, uh, go, go and have a look at this little island. It's all about exploring today, so I went and checked out this wreck. It wasn't quite firing like I'd like it to fire, but we still got a fair few fish. Probably a couple of keeper nannies, nannies but no, no big ones like I thought we would. I'm going to go and check out this island. Beautiful sun. sun uh, Beautiful cast sunscreen. It smells absolutely sensational. We're gonna go and check this island out while it's making tide and um, there's a little inlet there that I wanna go and have a look at. I've checked it out on Google Maps before and it looks un unreal. It looks insane actually. So, after getting sunscreen and pulling the electric up, we get burning. We've got a little bit of driving to do, but it's not too bad. Then I might pop some GTs wait for that tide to start dropping and then uh, decide what to do next don't know yet don't know whether to do a bit of fly fishing or head back out to the outer depends what this weather does if it drops out I might head out wide if it doesn't drop out I might just stick to some fly fishing or something let's see how we go let's go I've just arrived and under this island I've got it up in um, shallow drive but it probably doesn't need to be but i'm just going to do a bit of exploring in here i'll tell you what this flat in itself would be uh would be nice once the sun comes up a bit more maybe the tide drops out but i want to there's supposed to be an inlet along here somewhere which i'm just going to try and find just having a bit of a look along the edges and the water is absolutely beautiful look at it Crystal clear right up into the mangroves. Absolutely amazing. Pretty excited to see what I can find up in here. Might even get the fly rod out soon. Wow, look at this. Crystal clear water. Absolutely stunning. Wow, that water is so clear. So clear, look at that for a snag. There's even coral in it. Wow, look at that. Holy. This is paradise. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. This is so cool. I don't know what we're gonna find in here. I don't really care, actually. I just wanna have a look up inside here and see what it's all about. Fish those birds. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at that. There's, we're up in the mangroves and there's a big bit of coral near. Whoa. I could imagine, like, it'd be so weird if I catch a coral trout up in the mangroves. That'd be weird. But I'm imagining there's going to be Jack in here. 
that. Look at that. So clear the water. I've got a making tide, so it's still rushing in the tide. So I'm going to spend the next sort of hour or maybe even two hours up in here and just having a look at what's going on in here. So there'll be crocodiles and that in here, so I have to be careful. So I'm doing, doing a bit of gardening. Well, here's the first fish out of here. So hey, little fella, that was pretty cool. Come here and nailed it. Little cod. Not the type of cod you'd find in normal mangrove systems, but... Oh, no. We've got trouble here. A little bit of trouble. Come on. Come on, give us a squirt. Come on. Ah, you spiked bugger. Pick you up. Just gonna let him go. Oh. Just so happens I got that cast right up in there. Usually when you get it right up in there, you'll get a fish and that's what happened. Well, it was a fun little explore that. Besides the fact that I've just been absolutely smashed by, uh, by sand flies, they absolutely give me a touch up in there. And I've got sand fly sp spray back at camp too. I just forgot to bring it today. Yeah, I did a bit of exploring through there and seen a few fish. Seen some stingrays, seen some turtles, seen a shark. And also um, seen three big permit or good sized permit anyway come flying out of there down one of the channels while I have the motor running. So I dare say these flats here would be perfect for permit once this tide drops out. But I'm going to go back to uh, what I know best and that's do some popping. I'll go and do some popping around the um, outskirts of this island. There's some bombies around the back so I'm going to go and try that out now and see how we go. So I've just come around the back of the island to do a bit of exploring. I'm just looking for a few bombies around the place. Thought I'd do a mix up. Tell you what, that has been an absolute godsend. The old hydrate. Thank God I got that on board. Keep the hydration level up and uh, keep the energy levels up because I am pretty much beat. As soon as you sort of slow down, that's when you really do feel it. I want to even throw a plastic here and see if I can get some lunch. Have a look at this for a flat mick. Mangrove lined, big weed beds, and inside there, before I seen three decent permit right up in there, like it's uh, in a nice little channel up in there, but I dare say they come out here feeding once this tide drops. It's, um, yeah, I've actually got the fly out ready to go. So I'm going to get the uh, electric down and just puddle on the flood here and see what I can see. Have a pipes up, see what happens. was just five big GTs up in here. One had a bite mark in it, like a crocodile had a go on it or a... I haven't got my 12 weight. Would have been the perfect time for a 12 weight. These GTs were just moping around in here. I just tried to throw the little nine weight at it. Not that that was gonna do anything, but... Oh, here's one. There's another GT over here, it's coming. There it is. Look at it, it's not, it's just swimming. I haven't even seen the poppy yet. Oh, here it comes, 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 oh! It actually happened, up on the flat. That was so cool. Now we're in trouble. Oh, get away from there. Oh my God, that just happened. Oh, I missed him. There he is there. Oh, there's a GT just there. Oh my God. That actually just happened. That was so cool. Well, oh man, why have I got the head man on? Oh, I've got rods and shit everywhere. They're just sitting along the edge of these mangroves. He just come and smash that. 
out of the blue. You end up shaking the hooks. But I could actually see him come up and take that. That was so cool. Oh, it wasn't big by any standards. He's been sort of 10 kilo, but oh, wow. Like I'm trying to be quiet, but there's big blue bastard just swimming around, was just hanging around the boat. Here he is, he's back again. He's coming over. Here he is. Maybe you take it, no. He's sort of he's coming back over. He's looking at it. See it, here we go, here we go, here we go. Take it. Fly fishing for me is so hard because I, I get so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I'm going to try and change over to a crab and see what happens. Here is that big dugong. I thought it was a big croc, so I was coming over to have a look. It's a big dugong. Don't worry, I wasn't going to run over it, I knew where it was. I was just coming over and have a look, I thought it was a big croc, I could see it from a mile away. It wasn't, it was a big dugong. Oh, I am steaming up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's sensational. feeling this was going to happen. A couple of days hard fishing on the outer reef really does get to you. This, just, this morning I've just done a fair bit of exploring, just been to a wreck, had a bit of a jig, didn't really get much. A couple of nannies, got a few nannies, nothing of real size. Um, but then went over to another island and uh, just had a look up a little blue lagoon there just to do a bit of an explore. Wish I had the, uh, I would have stayed up there longer, only the sand flies would give me an absolute hammering. But um, yeah, the scenery up there was beautiful. The amount of turtles I've seen was just unbelievable. It was so clear, the water, so clear. And then it went around the back of the island. Um, straight away, seen like five GTs up in the shallows, like good sized fish too, like 15 to 20 kilo fish. And then, um, went, went around a corner and seen another one, so I got the popper out. Unfortunately, I didn't have the 12 weight fly, but I had a go at it and uh, it was just relaxing, cool as. And then it seen the popper and then just beelined it straight for it and bang, hooked up barbless hooks. And it uh, and I got a bit excited and it come off. Then all of a sudden, around the corner from that, I seen um, a big blue bastard that just kept hanging around the boat, but just didn't look like it was interested or it didn't look like it was feeding. Um, oh, and I've seen three big permit early on when I went up that Blue Lagoon system. So I've seen a fair bit. It's been awesome just, just to do a bit of exploring today. Anyway, I'm going to get out of this water. Obviously. As much as it's nice, I don't know. Something about it I don't trust. Something about it I just don't trust. Anyway, it is beautiful here. Absolute magic. Fishing a little bit off today, but... I'm not too phased about that. It's just living in paradise right now. It's awesome. Well, that is it for the day. I'm going to call it an early one. It's only uh, five o'clock. But yeah, the wind's got up. I'll try to get out a bit further uh, this afternoon to go and pop some GTs over those bombies I found yesterday. Yeah, but it was just too windy. It was, it was just rough as guts. Sort of blowing 15 to 20 there. I was, I was expecting a little less wind than that. Hopefully it's not like that tomorrow. Definitely glad I didn't go to the outer because it just would have been a messy ride. But otherwise, another day in paradise. Uh, we're going to have fish curry tonight. Clutch coral trout right at the end along the edge of the bombies. Um, unfortunately, didn't, well, was too lazy to change the SD card, but 
It was uh, nothing to write home about, just a nice coral trout for dinner. Um, but I'm going to make a fish curry, yes, so I'm going to spoil the coral trout with a with a curry. But uh, I bought some green curry along. I just want to try it. I haven't tried it before. I'm going to cut up some onions. Got a bit of chilli from an old fellow on the way up, I've seen. And I'll make a fish curry and see how we go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just sitting in paradise by myself on a little island. I'm um, thinking about my family and friends, again, as, as I was saying yesterday, but... It's still nice just to know that you're um, in the middle of nowhere with no one around, no service, no news, nothing about elections or just rubbish on TV. I just encourage you to get the hell away from all that negative crap. It is absolute crap. I um, mean, you don't realise it until you come to a place like this and though all that crap doesn't really matter. You know, you got, yeah, you got paradise like this. Anyway, I'm gonna start cooking up in a minute. Rightio, I'm going to uh, cook a fish curry tonight. I've got my fish pieces here, some coral trout, a little bit of potato. There's some um, chilli there, onion. I've got some green curry paste, coconut cream. Uh, and then obviously my rice is over here. So I'm going to see how we go. I've never done this before. Um, I don't even know a recipe. This is just made up on top of my head. And uh, just to top it all off, Nice little Shivers Regal uh, scotchy to um, put in for dessert. <laughs> Let's go and get into it. So first of all, we're just putting in the um, onion and the chilies. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Next, just putting the fish in and the potatoes. Stir those around so they get all the flavours of that oil and onion. Oh yeah, just sizzling perfectly. Not too hot. Just got the uh, jet ball going. Gonna boil that water and then get some rice on it. So that fish is cooking nicely now. It's time to little get the curry paste on it. Take a good heap of, good couple of heaps of curry paste in there. Love my curry. Wash that up later. I'm going to put a bit of coconut milk in it. Beautiful. It's heaps. I'm going to turn that heat right down. That flame right down just so it simmers now. Just want to simmer and nice and slow. Oh, there. That really does smell nice. So, while that's simmering, I'm going to get the rice on. So, while that's simmering away, I'm just going to enjoy the sunset with a nice scotch. Probably should add some water to it, but I'm not going to. This is living. Shake it off. <laughs> How good. It's ready to go. Rice is ready. Put a bit of that rice in there. And this curry. Oh my God. Look at it. Oh, that's like liquid gold right there. Oh my God. I had already taste tested it. I think I'm gonna save that for lunch tomorrow. All right, let's give it a taste. Oh my God, where have you been all my life? That tastes like something that you ordered at a um, Thai restaurant, but the fish, the fish is fresher. It's obviously better fish. It's coral trout and it's caught today, like literally hours ago. Mm. 
possibly the best day ever. Even though I caught bugger or fish, seen some cool things. Words can't even describe. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know there wasn't as much uh, fish catching, but there's a lot of exploring and I don't know. Today feels like the day that I've uh, had a chance to reflect on a few things. So, yeah, it's been a good day. I'm gonna eat this and finish off a little bit of scotch dessert. And I'll turn it in as the birds are chirping. Sun's going down. I'll have a little bit more water and then chip off to bed. It's been a sensational day. It's been a sensational trip. I hope you're enjoying it so far. We've got a big day tomorrow. Oh. Pack up is just happening now. I'm just gonna get some breakfast. Slept all the way to 5.30, so a little bit of a sleep in on the last day. I was planning on getting up really early, but it's a little bit windier than what I was expecting, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm hoping that wind just all of a sudden drops out. My boat's high and dry anyway, because it's as lowest of low tides right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the last of the pack up, put all the stuff in the boat, the last bits. Most of it I've already done in the boat. But that's about it. It's been one hell of an adventure. I'll just uh, do this last little bit and then, yeah, it's gonna be a say goodbye to the actual island. I was just starting to feel like it's home a little bit. Just starting to get into my groove. But all good things have got to come to an end sooner or later. So yeah, I'll get on with this pack up, have my breakfast and we'll get moving. Well, that is it. Camp is packed up, officially packed up. It's kind of sad, but I do have family and friends to go home to, but it's been a whole lot of fun. I've enjoyed every bit of it, but before I do that, and before I leave this island, the wind's up a bit, and I was gonna go back out to the outer reef, but for now, I'm gonna say goodbye to my poor camp. She's all packed up, and it's gonna be lonely for her. But that's it for me. I'm done. Time to get in the boat. Well, there's my island in the background. It's been a whole lot of fun. But the boat's packed up now. Loaded up with all the fuel tanks. Got a bit of water on the ground there for later on. I'm just tossing up what to do. Just don't know what this weather's doing. It's very overcast and it's just looking pretty horrid. There's a little bit of breeze coming up. It's about 10 knots. It's not blowing hard, but I really wanted to punch a long way out to the outer reef, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm just going to go around the back of this island, maybe head over to another island, just have a look on that, at that, and then it's home time. I'm on my way back, and I've just seen a, there's a good reef that I've just got to check out. I haven't fished it before. I thought I'd pop over and just have a little look at this reef and see what happens. There's a bit of a school of fusies just near this bommie here. Let's see if there's any GTs around it. Oh yes, I guess there is. Oh, oh there's a pack attack of them. Oh, well I guess there is GTs here. 
missed the hooks. Unfortunately, that scared the life out of me. Didn't know where that was coming from. Ah, missed him. This is going to be my last cast for the trip. What a place to finish. Little coral cay that uh, goes under water. Just going to have one more cast up on the flat here. And that'll be the fishing side of things done. And it's a big long ride at home. Here we go, here we go, here we go. On the last cast. On the last cast. Can he do it? Come on. What is it? What is it? What is it? Come on! Eat it! He's still there. Yes! Got him! Last cast! Last cast of the trip! Oh! Last cast! Very last cast of the trip! And it's a good fish too! Oh, it's a good fish! Oh, please stay on. Do not know what this is. Do not know what it is. Oh my god! It's a massive tournament! A massive tournament! Holy! Wow! Wow! Oh, right up here on the last, right up here on the flat. This is going to be the last cast. Geez, they pull hard, these things. Pull so hard. Very last cast of the trip. Please, please, please. Should net him, but net's way back there. Oh, geez, they go hard. He was following that all the way in. Oh. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. No, don't get loose. Get him on! Yeah! What a way to finish! What a way to finish! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! That's how you finish the trip! Oh my god! Oh wow! That just happened. Look at the size of this. Up on the flats, two meters of water, coral cay in the background. And that is a Chinaman on top water. Did that just happen? Absolutely crunch that lure. Look at that. Oh, 60 gram property come up behind it. Oh, I'm, in, I'm actually shaking. I'm shaking. Oh my God. That is how you finish a trip. Wow. That is one hell of a fish. Oh. Wow. Look at that, big Chinaman. Oh, so good. Come on, buddy, kick for me. Ah, there he goes. Well, that is it. What a way to finish, I was just singing to myself. Please just catch a fish. Last cast, last cast of the trip. And big Chinaman, like, you know, you can't eat them or anything like that. Just such a spectacular fish and they fight so hard. I am beat after that. But that is just, oh, my God. I'm gonna take a breath. 
It's been a lot that's gone into this trip. Bit of research, a lot of planning, and a lot of pursuing. And I would call it a success. I am absolutely beat. Been going hard. The first few days were just absolute torture on me. I don't know what it was. I don't know whether it was crook or heat stroke. It was hard work. But eventually got there, got it done. And it was just, just an awesome journey. Sitting on a little coral cave by yourself for five days. So I'm looking at a little, <laughs> there's a little sea snake over there. It's all happening now. Just a couple of things, two things mainly. Just make sure you challenge yourself in life. Don't do things that put you out of your comfort zone. You'll love the rewards. Just the best feeling ever. And the second thing, just make sure that we look after this place. Especially the Great Barrier Reef. Especially these little islands, especially this country. It's way too good to enjoy just yourself. You want the next generation, the next generation to enjoy. I'm gonna finish that note on that note. Get this boat back onto the trailer. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Because it's been so good. Solo adventure to destination paradise. Wow. What more could you ask for? Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Really, really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed.